it's true what they say, it's grim up north, but luckily we're here at the uh, factory visitor experience to see the new Triumph factory custom Thruxton. So um, let's get inside before we freeze our tits off. Triumph Factory, our global headquarters here in Hinkley. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce the first ever Triumph Factory Custom. Right, so we're here at Hinkley uh, at the Triumph Visitor Centre and they've just unveiled this. This is the Triumph Factory Custom uh, range of TFC Thruxton, so based on a Thruxton R, but carbon fibre bodywork, another 10 horsepower in the engine and they've, they've lost 10 kilos via magnesium cam cover, lightened internals, lower inertia internals, carbon fibre fairing, carbon fibre tail, titanium Vance and Heinz slip-on mufflers. In a change from the uh, Thruxton R, which has got the show a big piston fork, we've got the Olin's Nix 30 fork with uh, Brembo monoblock calipers and the Brembo MCS uh, radial levers as well. So it's an, a, an attempt to deliver the performance Thruxton that we were really looking for when this bike launched at the bike shed in 2014. Um, It'll be 750 made, and um, when they're gone, they're gone. And um, we've just ordered one, so keep an eye out on the bike shed stand in May. Um, we're going to be taking one of these and dehomologating it slightly. There's a few bits that Triumph can't get away with doing that we're going to do. So um, watch this space. And I'm here with Stuart Wood, who's uh, Triumph's chief engineer. Um, we're going to pick his brains about the new TFC Thruxton. So. First, first question, why is it not 130 horsepower Thruxton RR? Okay, well, all design is about balance. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a lovely motorcycle with the Thruxton and the Thruxton R anyway. Mm -hmm. And what we were looking to do was to make this bike what we feel, and more importantly, our customers feel, was the ultimate Thruxton. Mm. Now, it's not all about maximum power figures, not with any bike. Um, and what we've done is to increase the power and the torque all the way through the rev range. We've, we always put a huge amount of effort into getting uh, response, really fine, precise response from an engine so that you're basically thinking where you want to go. So it's the same with the handling, mm -hmm. same with the throttle response. You're thinking what you want the bike to do and it will just do that for you. So there's a lot more effort goes into um, things that you don't see as a headline number, mm -hmm. if you like. So things like response and control. Well, I mean, it was a slightly unfair question because I know why it's not a 130 horsepower bike. Because whenever I ride them and write the reviews, the spec sheet, I'm just not interested in it. It's how it, ri how it rides and how it feels. Always about the riding. And, and the, the extra uh, 10 PS or 9.8 horsepower you've got out of it, is that through anything uh, different to the Speed Twin or is it a, a similar state of tune internally? Okay, it's, no, there's a lot more. There's right. an awful lot more gone on. Um, we've started with a higher compression ratio. Mm -hmm. So we've gone up from 11 to 1 to 12 to 1 compression ratio. We're running higher com combustion pressures. We have got a different piston, different piston crown. We've put uh, low friction coatings on the piston skirt. Right. The combustion chamber has been uh, improved to improve the breathing mm -hmm. um, from the valves, around the valves. The uh, intake ports. So, so to the layman, they, layman that's a, so you ported the cylinder head in, in old yeah, fashioned ab terms. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 well, it's the combustion chamber and the ports. Right. So both have been worked on. Um, the intake ports are hand fettled. Uh, we've changed the intake into the air box mm -hmm. and also the um, inlets into the throttle bodies as well. So there's a lot of tune in there. Within the exhaust system, there have been 
changes made to re reduce any restriction there mm -hmm. wherever we can and obviously we've got the titanium Fansenheim and Sciences as well yeah so C can, can you take the baffles the out of these no no they're, they're fixed. homologated homologated sciences. right okay so all the way through um, the way the bike breathes the way it uh, the combustion combustion pressures everything has been improved mm -hmm. everything's been raised and uh, yeah, a lot of work has been done on And that. there's a specific tune for the TFC? Of course. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a, a magnesium... In, oh, in fact, there's also, yeah, cams as well. Yeah. So they're higher lift and longer duration right. cams. So, so it's, a, it's a complete tune, mm -hmm. absolutely complete. Uh, and a magnesium cam cover, yeah. same as the Speed Twin. Yeah. Well, you've got the magnesium cam cover. Yeah. We've got a lightened clutch cover mm -hmm. as well. There's about 0.4 of a kilo reduction on yep. wall thickness. Um, overall, we've got about five kilos out of the engine. Right, okay. So that, that's, that's pretty impressive, yeah. Okay. We've reduced mass, we've reduced rotating inertia. Uh, the crankshaft assembly mass is down, is reduced by about 18%, and the rotating inertia has been reduced by 26%. Okay. So that's all about improving the handling uh, when you're at higher engine revs and lower vehicle speeds. And going on to the suspension, what what was the reasoning behind changing from the Showa Big Piston to the, the Olin's cartridge okay. fork? Well, on the Thruxton R, the suspension works beautifully. Mm. Um, there's, I say, always a point with any design where it's, it's balanced, and there's um, a point where you decide this is the correct specification for the bike. We're also obviously want our bikes to be accessible and affordable for people. Mm -hmm. Now when you get the opportunity to create the ultimate, you will fit wherever you can the best possible components. Yep. Okay? And so, you, so you went through the, the shopping list and... They're wonderful, they're wonderful. The forks are wonderful, the rear, rear um, shocks are fantastic. Mm -hmm. it, it's a very, very nice setup. And we have just ordered one of these. Okay. And might be taking it apart. Are you able to let us into um, any secrets that would allow us to squeeze a little bit more from it? Or would we just have to stick with reducing I, the weight even further? I think you uh, can have fun trying. Okay. And uh, would you be up for having a back-to-back -back comparison if we're with, a, oh, absolutely. with one of these against our That's version? Always good to see what you do. Well, we really look forward to maybe it. we'll stick Gary on it around yeah. brands or something like that. Fantastic. All right, great. Thanks, Stuart. Cheers, Russ. Appreciate Cheers, it. Mate.